Hello everyone, this is Gleb. In my previous video, I have shown how to click on a button if it's enabled. It's an example of conditional testing where we can get the button, then we can use jQuery method is with a jQuery pseudo selector colon enabled. So once we invoke that is method, we get enabled, which is a boolean. And then we can say if it's enabled, grab the button and click on it and it should text uh, have text uh, clicked. But if it's not enabled, if it's disabled, no need to do anything, maybe output a message. And it's fine, looks okay. But in this video, I'll show how to do the same task better using two of my plugins. The first solution will use Cypress if plugin. The Cypress if plugin makes all these conditionals much, much simpler. So I am inside Cypress if repo. Uh, usually you would just do import Cypress Eve, but I'm just importing the source code. I already have HTML file with this enable button, right? It says click, but in 50% of the cases it gets disabled. So we should only try to click if it's enabled. Let me move it to the side and open Cypress right here. Click enabled. All right. So side visit, Cypress, I forgot, enable button, right? Enable button, HTML. So we see a button, it's enabled, then we should click and confirm the text. So it will Cypress contains button, click me. And now we should check if it's enabled. If you were just confirming, that the button is enabled, you could use child jQuery assertion should be enabled. Okay. And notice if it's enabled, then you can click on it. So you can say click and maybe you can even confirm the text clicked, right? Let's ignore this case. Okay. Right here. It was enabled. We clicked and it changed the text to clicked. Perfect. What about conditional? Well, here's where Cypress if comes in. Instead of should, you can say if be enabled or even shorten it because be is just a connector. If enabled, then we click and check the text. Now notice right here, the button is disabled. We did run an assertion just once, no retries. Is it enabled or not? No. Even though the assertion is shown as red, it failed, but we handle the failure inside Cypress if logic. So notice the test itself is passing. We can make it even better by saying else, and you can also chain commands right here. You can say log, no need to click, for example. Okay, notice right here. Or you can say a message right there in the else branch. So you can say if it's disabled, no need to click, which is much nicer. So Cypress if allows you to pass predicate, assertion, it uses the current subject. And if it passes, then it will run the remainder of the chain up until optional else. Okay. So this is Cypress if for performing conditional testing. Okay. Let's go to the Cypress await. So in this case, I have a test prepared and in my project, I would use Cypress await plugin as a preprocessor. Okay. So let's do the same thing. We're going to start by Cypress visit. And in this case, it's Cypress fixtures, I believe, enabled button. So let's move it to the side and to end testing, electron conditional click. All right. Well, seems like in our config, we have a base URL and we want to use a fixture file. So the way to disable a base URL for particular test is just to say base URL should be now. Okay. So we're visiting the enable button, local HTML file. Uh, the page is quite large. So let's lower the viewport to let's say 300 viewport with 300. Okay. Now we can see it clearly. And we're using Cypress await synchronous mode preprocessor. So instead of kind of passing the value forward from one command to another command to assertion to another command, here we can say, contains button click me. And then we'll invoke the same method is from jQuery enabled. And usually we would say 
than enabled, right? But in this case, the Cypress await preprocessor under the hood changes the whole thing. So we can say the value enabled is right here. And let's say we can even log it enabled. So enabled false, enabled true. So we're getting the value back to the left of the Cypress chain. And Cypress await has two modes. This is called synchronous mode because it kind of looks like a synchronous code in the under the hood. It is not synchronous. It transforms it into a chain of van commands and pyramids. Um, there is also asynchronous mode where you have to prefix every Cypress command with await, which is so verbose. Okay, so what do we want to do with value? We want to say if it's enabled, click should have text clicked, right? So we can use normal if else, otherwise we'll log nothing to click. So notice disable button, nothing to click, enable button, found the button, clicked on it, confirmed the text is there. So these are two different solutions, Cypress if versus Cypress await. My personal, to be honest, is Cypress if, because I don't have to create all these intermediate variables and I don't have to write more syntax than necessary. But it's up to you. I'm going to link both examples or both repos in the description of this video. And I probably will have to write a blog post comparing kind of standard Cypress syntax with Cypress if with Cypress await.